Hello all the people, it's Effectuality here. We are back on the Nimbuscraft server playing some more vanilla Minecraft. And I've got to say, these stores, man, they are a success. We've had lots of orders for polar bears. I've had, let's see, who have we given polar bears to? We've given polar bears to CB. Uh, we've given a couple to Genie. Uh, who else have we got? We've got a couple more orders lined up at the moment. One for Tom and one for Wayfielder. So we're going to go do those on camera even. And is that everyone? I feel like there were more people than that. Never mind, anyway, so very big success. And then the banner store's been going really well as well. We've got another banner to show you now. So Henley says he wants a personal banner. Anything badass? Well, Henley, there you are. There's your badass banner. It's a Viking helmet, buddy. It's the same colors as what you use in your skin. It's got the horns and everything. I think it's really awesome. And I know you think it's really awesome because you already told me so. So there it is. There's one that we made for Henley. Um, yeah, it's a thing. Anyway, so we're over here at the super secret ultra cannot be found polar bear cave where um, I keep all of my polar bears um, quite happily. They're, um, they're really, they really love it in here. It's, um, it reminds them of their caves of times of yonder. I don't know. Anyway, they, um, they told me they like it. Come on out, buddy. You're going to Wayfielder. This tunnel to the ice spikes by and by the way is amazing. Awesome work by Genie. This is so cool with the ice spikes coming down out of the ground and then all of this going on on the way there. So cool. Here's a couple of uh, polar bears that we got for him by the way. There's one over this side and one over the other side. This one was a baby but um, clearly they grow up. That's a real shame because the babies are so cute. So cute. Alright. These polar bears look so ridiculous in boats. And then when I jump in, and you look back, look, he's graciously made space for me. <laughs> and away we go! So, just in case you didn't know, this is the way to Wayfielder's Ultra Secret, obviously not this way base. We're going to need to make some room to get this polar bear through, because he's a fat ass. Man, polar bears are like the biggest trolls when it comes to going up one high blocks. Come on, man, just... Get in the tunnel! Ah, uh, uh, Get in the tunnel! Don't look at me like that. Seriously? Come on man, we got a video to film here. Get in the damn tunnel! You know what? I think we're gonna borrow the stairs from the way into my house. Yay! No, 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 no! No! Do not die in the block! You understand me? Do not die in the block. We only just got you up the stairs. Okay, you're gonna be safer in this one. I really. Uh... Okay, that's good. Let's go this way. Now, I wonder, boats. You can't take full damage if you're in a boat. But. Hello. Do you mind? Really? Anyway, as I was saying, you can't take full damage when you're in a boat. So if I just break the blocks underneath this boat, does the same apply? for polar bears in a boat. Ooh! Ooh, hang on! Pigman is totally our guinea pig for this. Bon voyage! Aha! It definitely works! Okay, that's great! Let's put a boat down. Oh, no, wait, wait! Oh, that could be, that could be damaging. That could be bad. That looks like he's probably in a block. Please don't be in a block, Barry. Whew! Okay! Should we go? Should we do it? Here it goes! Oh, did he just take damage? Whoa! Ha! <laughs> we landed on the Pigman. Okay, Barry's alive, guys! Oh, this is lovely. Are we really gonna boat the whole way there? No. No, I'm worried about getting Barry caught inside a block again. Oh god! I did it anyway! Please don't die, Barry! You're worth a quarter of a stack of diamonds, man. And now I've got to get you through a portal. Ah, uh, portals are dangerous and you've already taken suffocation damage. Barry, please don't suffocate and die. We've... Oh, he's not listening. Oh, you are listening, yeah. Okay, so please don't suffocate and die because 
you're worth a lot of money to me, basically, and also you're kind of cool. I really like you, if that helps. Anyway, push, push. Please don't die. Ugh. Okay, Barry's gone, and now the biggest problem that I have is portal lag when I get over the other side, because we're getting that lately. Uh-oh, where is he? Barry! Oh, this is not good. Uh, I'm not seeing him. I'm not hearing him. I didn't pick up any fish, which is normally what happens when, when bears die. Where is he? Maybe he's just gone invisible. Well, that's handy. Okay, just logged back in and he's still not here. Let's go back through the portal and see if he's on the other side. Nope. Alrighty, attempt number two, you're coming with me. I've decided that this bear should be called Barry. The first one was clearly called Andy. Because Wei had a polar bear, and he died. So there you go, Wei, that's your bear. He is going no further under my supervision. What happens to him from here is totally your problem. And the last of the bears in my secret cave is going to Tom Wood. Alright, come on big guy. Oh, come on, you got to be kidding me. No way. There's no way he died. This game is glitching out with bloody polar bears going through. Oh, there he is. How did he get over there? Uh, Tom, I see a problem. He ain't gonna fit through your doors, matey. Don't worry. I solved it. Uh, okay, it's very creepy that he has someone's head. Just casually had Evie's head on his wall. That's, that's, that's not creepy at all. Yep, sorry buddy, but I do have to leave you here. He did pay me. Good luck with your new life. Hope your head doesn't end up on a wall. So we're currently over at a secret fishing spot, which shall not be put on the map for any reason whatsoever. And basically, what are we doing? We're trying to get some name tags. We've got Calais, we've got Briz, we've got... Who else do we have here? Ferglin and Lindsay. And we're just chilling out. Just chilling out, catching some stuff, throwing some stuff away that we didn't want. I caught a fish just before that was huge, man. You should have seen it. It was massive. Absolutely massive. Gutted that I didn't get it on video. You just have to take my word for it. But anyway, what we're really trying to do here is get some name badges. What are they? Name tags? Get some name tags. And we're going to fill up this farm over to our left here with creepers. And name them, and then we're going to try and get some charge creepers. So that's what we're about right now. Oh god! <laughs> oh no! Oh, there goes part of the farm. Yeah, so apparently Lindsay just stepped back and uh, fell straight back into the hole where we already had a creeper trapped. Can't get me now, guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 10 out of 10 would survive zombie apocalypse. Here comes the charge creeper now. We've already done the test once and it definitely does work. However, I did find that you only get one head per charge creeper explosion, which is news to me. But anyway, we're going to light this guy up. And, yep, killed two of them. And there's the head. Alright! Working farm. <laughs> Lindsay's trying to be Tom Wood. Oh, hey, buddy, you want to come with me? Come on, little guy. I have a very important job for you. Where do you go there? Come on, buddy. You're coming with me all the way back to the creeper farm just so I can blow you up. Up you come, up you come, into the hole. Wow, I hope he just went in the hole. Um, yep, there he is. Okay, we're good. So somewhere in here we have another charged creeper. There he is. Alright. Random dirt placement. Here he comes, here he comes. Very slowly, very slowly. 
<coughs> oh! Oh, do not get too close. Okay, let's blow this guy sky high. Uh oh. Hang on, I still see a creeper. So we got another one here, ready to try this all over again. We've moved the other creeper forward a little bit, and hopefully that means... Uh, that's not good. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to have to work on this farm a little bit more. Hmm. Now Christmas time is upon us, and being the naughty little elf that I am, I decided to have a little bit of a peek inside Tom Wood's present. And I won't tell you what's in there, but what I will tell you is that it wasn't lit up on the inside, and there may have been a creeper in there. So I've now repaired this entire present, and I need to maybe put the creeper back in. I'm pretty sure that that wasn't intentional, because it was just completely dark in here, but that just seems so perfect. I mean, Tom Wood is a creeper, so um, it just kind of makes sense, and I can already see one. So we're going to lead this guy in. I've got a name tag. We're going to chuck him in the box. Come on, buddy. Oh man, I really, I would really like your head instead, but no, 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 you're coming with us. Oh, could we supercharge you? No. That would be hilarious. Okay, come on. Lucky there's a super jump. Are you going to come in here? Thank you. Oh, no, wait, he's not quite in. Go right the way in. Okay, now if I put a block there, and there, we should be safe, right? Yep. Okay, name him. Yes. Finish this off so nobody has to even know. There we go, and I'll take my ender chest back now. Thank you, that was a good step. For his eyes only. Last thing we would want is somebody opening this like I did and seeing that there's a creeper in there just a little bit too late. So hopefully, hopefully that keeps people away from this present because we really, 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 really want to have Tom open this. Because he's a creeper, he keeps going on about his base getting creepered. This would be just far enough away that it doesn't get creepered, so that would be excellent. Um, yeah. Merry Christmas, Tom! I don't actually know who the secret Santa is for Tom, by the way, but I do know that it's now a whole lot more awesome a present. Someone! And I'm not going to name names, but someone, probably who's quite experienced at the whole banner making thing, has gone and replaced all of Tom's UK flag signs with Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. Which is not why I brought you in here, but that is hilarious. Even if I do say so myself. But um, apparently, Tom has a secret base inside his base. And, um, and we found it. <laughs> See, bros. <laughs> and uh, and so now we're just going to come and have a look because I haven't been down here before. I think what needs to happen here is because this is such a little secret squirrel base, we need to put. I mean, somebody's already put a sign saying Lindsay Ferg and Cube were here, so I mean, this is no secret anymore. But what would be hilarious if there are just little typos? on all of his signs. So, what did this one say? I've already forgotten. Garse Dirt Box. Like that. There you go, little typo, pretty hard to notice. This could be Enderprels. Enderprels! Random. Mob derps. <laughs> Balls rods? <laughs> Balls rods. I feel like I'm getting more brazen with each of these. Stone. Tom <laughs> Gobbler Stone. Oh, that is not Gobbler Stone. Gobbler Stone. Gobbler Stone. Let's make it Gobbler Stone. Can we just... 
Actually, I don't know. Did uh, did Cube <laughs> into girl pills? <laughs> I was looking at this one saying Tom Wood, and I was like, um, what? did he write that one? Is this like his special armor and stuff? No, no, it's just wood. But I have a better idea. Cube. Cube. Let's call them all Tom Wood. There! That's beautiful! Tom Wood, Tom Wood, Tom Wood, Tom Wood. <laughs> oh, oh, you got an idea, Cubie Paul? the other room you mean you mean the secret secret room oh <laughs> now you're breaking the floor brewing supplies did you mean Tom Wood I think I think we need more signs like this is lovely but I mean we could have we could have Tom Wood signs everywhere <laughs> really we're gonna do the ceiling too my god <laughs> it is glorious. I've never seen this many signs with one word on them ever before, but it makes a really good effect. I love it. I love it. The only problem is, we know about the secret room back here, but now we can't get into it. Unless we just go through this way. Yeah, this is fine. Look, we're in. Okay, I think that's his little secret stash of blocks and stuff done for as well. And it looks like Cube didn't quite uh, make that jump. Oh, hang on. Ugh. Nope, neither did I. There we go. Okay. I think our work is done here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, ho, ho. just about missed it. <laughs> this is every single block, every single placeable place that we can put down a sign has now got a sign on it that says Tom Wood. This is just awesome. This is just, I've never seen a prank like this before. Yes, you can fill places with leaves and you can do all that, but this literally has his name on every single sign. The, the good thing here, Tom, the comforting thing here is that you know that we know that every single possible block in here is yours. There's no doubt about it, mate. We totally understand that you wanted to keep it a secret because you didn't want anybody else taking your stuff. Well, nobody's taking your stuff, man. It is 100% secure. The only thing that's missing is a little bit of a question. Maybe a riddle. And that is... <laughs> how much wood could Tom Wood Wood if Tom Wood could Wood Wood? <laughs> Oh no, oh, this is just, this is fantastic. And I love that that fits on the one sign. I was really worried that it wasn't gonna. And uh, we should probably just put a sign here saying, Tom Wood. Just so everybody knows that this is his house, because like the banners have changed, there's a big thing on the outside here, and then like, ah, oh, you just, you need to know whose house this is. And now you know, that's Tom Wood's house, and Tom Wood's secret basement, and Tom Wood's annex to his secret basement, and Tom Wood's secret sub-basement to the annex to the basement of Tom Wood's house. Welcome to Tom Wood's house. Now you may have seen the map up in the top right corner there, I have downloaded a couple of mods, one of them being the voxel map, but um, actually I really hate it on my heart and I only literally just noticed that it was there, so um, that's gone now and but oh man this is so handy look at all the things all oh, steampunk town oh you can't know about that yet um but yeah look at all the places that i've been just just today just today flying around figuring stuff out because now i've got a map so cool anyway that is all we have time for for this episode thank you very much for watching now there is a little bit of server issues going on at the moment and so I can't do the standard outro in the regular Nimbus Craft. So what you're looking at right now is just a little sneak peek of my building world. My little super flat sort of work all the things out kind of world. 
and what you see behind you are a couple of the stages in the Hunt for Herobrine, which is a little quest that's going to be coming to Nimbuscraft very soon. Keep an eye out for that. We're going to start building that very soon. In fact, we've already started. That's right, already started on the server, and it's going to be so cool. There's a series of puzzles, there's adventures, there's all sorts of stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun, so we'll be covering that soon. But for now, again, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you guys next time.